In fact, the prophet Jeremiah describes the human heart like this, the heart is more deceitful than all else and is desperately wicked. And I, the Lord, search the heart. God is saying, it's wicked and I know it. I see it. Some people say, well, no, the, uh, people are basically good. It's the environment that causes them to do bad things. Well, listen to the words of Jesus. Jesus, by the way, as God, was the Creator and He knows His creation. This is what He said, that which proceeds out of the man, that is what defiles the man. For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts, acts of sexual immorality, thefts, wickedness, murders, adulteries, deeds of coveting and wickedness, as well as deceit, debauchery, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these evils proceed from within and defile the man. The problem isn't outside of us. The problem is inside of us. In Romans chapter 3, and if you have a Bible there and you want to turn to it, you can do that. In, in Romans chapter 3, the, the Apostle Paul is writing and he sums up what the Old Testament Scripture says about men and sin. Romans 3.10, there is none righteous, not even one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become useless. There is none who does good. There is not even one. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they keep deceiving. The poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their paths, and the path of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes." That's a string of statements taken out of the Old Testament where God defines the nature of man. No one righteous, no one who genuinely does good that pleases God. Dangerous, we're like poisonous snakes. Our mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. Feet swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery in the path. That's a biblical description. That's the divine description of man. Humanity is evil in nature and dangerous. So that the greatest challenge humans face is not from nature, it's not from environment, it's from himself.